Hi, welcome back to Conversations with Kenya Mozi. My name is Lisa Kenya Mozi Raboni, and um, this is a space for me to just talk a lot without any regulations from anyone because I'm the team, the producer, and everything. Nonetheless, shout out to Net Studios who make this very possible. I mean, not phone quality or whatever. Um, so, shout out to them, Owenire, on the accessories and the closet for coming through with the outfits, always the closet EG. Um, so yeah, so let's get into today's episode. I'm still talking about my book. So if you watched, if you didn't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, last episode, make sure you get it. Um, and I just wanted to get into a couple of pieces of the book that could probably lure you into joining us at the launch, August eighth, twenty twenty-two. Unless things change, but around that time frame, we must have happened. Um, hmm, a lot of arms. <laughs> I'm about to get into a section that if I've been a good content creator and diligent to my promises, we should be in April, which is um, Sexual Assault Awareness Month. And I think for me as an individual, that is the hardest stuff we talk about. If you go into the archives of all past episodes, anytime I'm talking about sexual trauma, sexual violence, it's a lot of um, a lot of nervousness, a lot of failure to look directly into the camera. So please bear with me. We're working through therapy and moving past a couple of things. Uh, again. <laughs> so the um, section on, in the book that is on sexual violence and sexual trauma is It Was Never My Fault. That is what it's titled as. Hi headlining a specific poem where I... I'm working through the victim blaming that I had put into myself. And I just explained to myself through different instances where I've faced sexual violence and sexual assault um, that I, could ha I couldn't have possibly done anything to protect myself from these situations. And for a lot of people who have faced sexual violence, we're always like, oh, I shouldn't have gone out. I shouldn't have been here. I should have, I should have done this differently. I should have done that. But something I'm learning through therapy is no matter how much you think you should have, or you could have done differently, it is not, the onus is not on you. It's literally on different systems and people to educate, to remove the fact that people are harmful towards others. If someone was murdered, would they have, would they have said, oh, I shouldn't have done this, I shouldn't have done that? Um, it would have been, the onus would have been on the police system to make sure that people are safer in their countries, right? So then, friend, it's not on you, <laughs> okay? So, <sighs> Yeah, so that, that piece of that book was really, that section of the book was the hardest place for me to be because I had to be the most raw with emotions that I hadn't felt in years or hadn't allowed myself to feel. Um, I had to be very vulnerable with myself. I had to be very vulnerable with my editor. Now, you know, the thing with a book, <laughs> it's not like, hey, you just write and close and then move away like as if it's a journal. You have to go back to these pieces. We have to say, okay, but this grammar here, this diction here, this comma here, um, which means you have to look at these pieces constantly and every single day. Or just, can you read back on it? Because we ended up self-publishing, which means I had to reread the book multiple times, inclusive of uh, that section that I really didn't want to go to because I had to be vulnerable. Um, what I really like from the book, and a lot of people who have managed to read it or get a copy of it, have shared on how they had new revelations when it came to the concept of hypersexuality. So what is hypersexuality? <laughs> Should you get the book and actually find out for yourself? I think so. But um, it's really just a response to sexual violence. It's a form of the way that your trauma manifests, where you are with everybody and anybody. You are, I like the word my therapist used, disassociation, where you are having sexual intimacy with a couple of people, but you are not in that space. So it's not even about you. It's not even about how you're feeling. It's not even whether you are <clears throat> truly enticed into partaking with this person. It's really your body just switches off because it has had so much trauma. <laughs> it doesn't know how to deal with being in the moment. Um, so you can read up on that. I found that very, 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 like a new piece of information and a new way to check myself and how my bad manners, quote unquote, how my trauma shows up and be able to be one, give myself grace, but also hold myself accountable when I'm falling into parts of myself that I shouldn't be falling back into. So yeah, it was never my fault. If you are watching this yambi foundation should be doing a drive towards mental health and giving mental health to survivors of sexual assault and sexual violence um hoping to work with frame initiative as we did last year so please go ahead and 
check out our, chat, our page and give to us because one thing that I've learned being in therapy now is for so long you can think you're okay till you're not okay because this is a traumatic thing that's happening to you. And then it's important for you to do the necessary work to be better and get better. But once you get better, then you're, you're functioning better. So there's group therapy, there's subsidized therapy, there's free therapy. You never know grace could fall on you and favor like it did for me. But go out there and get some help, okay? All right, oh, we're done with the serious things. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this episode at Conversations with Kenya Mozi is uh, the handle. My name is Lisa Kenya Mozi Roboni, making my handle at Kenya Mozi Roboni on all social media platforms. Let's engage. Let me know what you'd like to learn about me, but also about different things because it's supposed to be fun, but educative as well. So thank you so much for watching. Thank <music> you.